Okay, so welcome to Augmented Reality Obstacle Avoidance, uh, ROA for short, uh, update as of February 23rd. So there's a couple elements to this prototype, um, which is aimed at uh, testing augmented reality visual cues that can help uh, people with visual imp impairments navigate around obstacles. Um, so we have three sample obstacles we're looking at today here. A chair, a lamp, and this water bottle. Um, and first, I'm going to show you the digital obstacles that are going to be representing those. Those are our stand-ins. Um, these are simply what we are aiming our HUD cues at for the moment. Let me get to that in a minute. Toggle digital obstacles. Okay, we do have voice commands. They may not work while I'm recording. Because uh, I think I might be contesting the mic. Um, so two types of cues uh, that we're going to look at to help people avoid these um, obstacles. First is co-located cues. So these are going to be uh, these yellow kind of uh, cube wireframes. Um, and these are designed to be highly visible um, so that if you are blind and, you know, say these cube, these this chair and this lamp uh, were the same color as the background, it might not be easy to make out. Um, these bright yellow uh, co-located cues are co-located with the obstacle, uh, and we'll show you, uh, really just highlight them and, and help them stand out as to where those are. Uh, and we can change the size of these by messing with it so that we can manually, for now, uh, adjust how big those are and make them match the physical cues. So now here I've got this one about the same dimensions as this lamp. Uh, and then in addition to the co-located cues, we have HUD cues or heads-up display cues. Um, so these ones, the idea is it doesn't matter where you're looking, uh, these arrows will help guide you to know where obstacles are. So here you can see I have the one for the lamp, one for the chair, one for the water bottle, and these are going to hover in the edge of my sight, um, and then when I'm looking at the object, transform into this um, uh, cursor to let me know that that's the object I was looking at. Uh, we can potentially play with how close these appear to the user. Um, right now they're set at one meter. Uh, we can play with the colors, and we, in future products, will be looking at having these change uh, size based on the distance to the obstacle um, and potentially being able to add and remove uh, HUD cues for each obstacle separately. Um, when you have both of them together, um, there's definitely quite a bit of, uh, of visual indication here. Lots of cues going on, lots of yellow, um, but you're unlikely to miss anything that it is pointing at. Um, and then finally, what we can do is reset positions. If one of the cubes gets lost, it's just a simple trick to reset those to how they originally were located. Uh, that's it for this update.